Hello, my name is Maxim and today I want to cover two topics. Uh, one of them that's arrays and another one is the for loop. We are going to create some arrays first manually, then we will use the for loop to initialize like the empty arrays uh, in more automated way, I would call it. So let me start from the create event. And uh, if you're familiar with other programming languages, arrays can be like need to be initialized first. In Python, you would need to do something like this to create the empty array, you, or you can add some elements to it, and then you can like work with it. So in in, in Game Maker, this is not required. But what array in general? Array. This is the list uh, of the object. So if I would create some array, it would have like this look. Uh, this is called one-dimensional array. And array is pretty often to use like to create inventory. Like of course it's used in many other things, but uh, like just the easiest example it will be create inventory. But as you remember in most games, uh, inventory doesn't look like a straight line. So inventory looks something like this. And to be able to create this, we would need two-dimensional arrays. So let's first try to create arrays like manual in manual way. And I'm going to define array inventory. And next, I need to add elements to the my array. So I'm going to add array at position zero, which will be, which will have value empty. Then I can repeat. Um, this step I can add element to the second position and to the third and this indexation starts from the zero so by defining this I've created array with three elements inside if I need to create a two-dimensional array I need to add here one more square bracket and specify another index in this case it will be like column uh, row and column so something like this. So this will create for me array uh, two, two and two. So let, let me. Uh, so by defining this, I would have array like that. Two elements here and two elements here. So like just to define array is pretty easy. But what if you need to like to create big inventory and you would need to have like hundreds lines so you would need to copy this a lot you would need to replace the index and like this kind of not very easy to use so there is the better way how we can initialize uh, these arrays using the for loop let's check how to create the for loop for loop start with the keyword for and then in brackets i need to specify a few parameters. First, this is the initial position, and I've called this as the i. It's typically called i, but it can be named as anything like a, b, any. It can be some word, letter, whatever you need. Next, I need to specify the condition which will stop iteration inside of the loop. So, for example, if I do like this. Uh, it will stop when e become 5. And finally, I have increment. So how do I want to increment i? So with each iteration, i will be incremented on 1. So on the first iteration, I would have i equal to 0. Then next iteration, i equal to 1. Then i equal to 2. i equal to 3, 4. And then array will stop. I can have something like even not like this. If I want to increment not by one, I can have something like i plus five or like whatever you need based on your use case. Then there is the curly braces and inside of them, I can define my code. And code will be really simple. I'm going to define my inventory, but in the square brackets, I will specify the i. And I will assign this value as empty. So in the first iteration, i will be equal to 0, and I would get element on the index 0, then it will be 1, 2, 3, 4. 
Now let's try to add a draw event to print uh, the content of the array. So I will copy this line, paste it right here. And I need to specify like my my loop will, will stay the same, uh, but I would specify here draw text, and I need to provide here x, uh, y, and z as usually. So I would define some initial position of x, but this will be not enough. But let's try y. So I can have something like 10, 10, and inventory i. So on the position. 10, 10, I would print content of the, my inventory and I'm going to run uh, the game. And what I've got, I've got just one, um, like one record. So why? Because all of this uh, five element of array were printed at the same position. So if I want to have like different uh, indentation between the positions, so I would need to add here something like this. So in the first iteration, I will be equal to zero. So this equation will be equal to zero. So I will print at position 10. Next iteration, I will be equal to one. So this will become 70 and plus 10, it will become 80. And I would print uh, my uh, element of the array on position 80. So let's run. And now I've got printed my array of five elements. Now let's try to define two-dimensional array. It's not very different from the one-dimensional. I would I would just need to copy this loop one more time. I would need to move this and add one more square bracket. Uh, I cannot use i here uh, because I already have i defined. So I'm going to use the j. And there is one change which I need to add is to add another index to the my array. So how this is going to work? So on the first iteration, we have two loops like this, uh, like loop with i and loop with j. So on the first iteration of this loop, i will be equal to zero. Then another loop started where j equal to zero. So here we will have zero, zero. Uh, then we back like we run iteration of this internal array, I'm sorry, loop. So I will be stay the zero, but J will be the one. So here will be zero and here will be the one. Next will be I zero, J two, I zero, J three, I zero, J four. And we done with this loop. And we go back here to this our, like this outer loop. And this time I will be incremented. So this time will be i equal to zero. And we go to this internal loop. So we'll have, sorry, i will be equal to one. So we will have i equal to one, j equal to zero. Then next iteration, i will be still one, but j will be also one. Next iteration, i will be one, j will be two. And this will repeat over and over until j become five. We out of this, we will be done with this loop and we increment i by one again, like i will be equal to two, and we go to this internal loop again. And this will repeat until i've become five. And to print this array, it's like the same way. I'm going to copy this loop, I'm going to copy this line, but it will not work as simply like that. I need, of course, to specify here my another index. It will not work because, like it will work, but not as, as we would expect. So if I will run this code, I again receive like just five elements. This is because I'm not changing the uh, Y position. I would do the same. I would plus 70 multiplied by I. And next, if I run the game, I got something weird. <laughs> Let's, uh, let's understand why did we get it. So what do we have? Inside of the create, we're creating array as it should be, right? Uh, but when we are printing, what do we have? Oh, because I specify here not the i, but j, 
that's why it's printed in some weird way. But once I change to the J, we got printed our array, which can be like inventory. So that's all what I wanted to show you today. Uh, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel to not, not miss new video. Have a nice day.